Our goal is to shepherd their hearts. And to do that, it takes time, it takes love, it takes tone and touch. We count it um, an honor from our great shepherd to be his under shepherds here at Hope Academy. Because our ministry is to serve at-risk families, we make strategic partnerships with addiction recovery ministries. I got pregnant at an early age, at 16. Once my domestic abuse situation happened, it just helped me to realize that I also had a problem with my alcohol, and that's what led me to the Healing House. Me and my kids stayed at the Healing House for 18 months, to be exact, and that is how I heard about Hope Academy. The reason that I, I'm so adamant about her being in Hope Academy is because of the the support. Because they knew where we were coming from. And they were there to support us in every step of the way. Addiction is really hard to get over. And having that support, and it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Mrs. Gray. Lovey Asia was a third grader in my class and I knew that she was reading. But we in third grade have a reading log where they're to record what they read and to write a response to it. And every week Lovey Asia's reading log was blank. So we came up with this cute little journal and a fancy little pen and gave it to Lovey Asia to encourage her to um, write in her reading log. Witty. Parenting is a high calling, we know that. It's hard to be parents and it's really hard to be single parents. The parent and the home environment is crucial to the success of the student here and we really call parents to that high calling. <laughs> Lisa. Sheila has um, not only stepped out in her parenting skills, she has also stepped in to help her fellow residents at Healing House with whatever they needed. She has really reached out to bless others. I mean, they've all like stepped in and helped. It's small and it's intimate. Like the teachers know you, the principal knows you, everybody knows your name. I feel safe and I know my teachers love me. I can call and just say Lovey Asia's first name and they already know whose class she's in and what class she's been in. We've been able to open up a room called the Parent Resource Room at Hope Academy. It's just been a joy so far. The coffee pot's always on and it's a cozy, welcoming room and we've been able to offer Bible studies and one-on-one -on -one mentoring, counseling, one-on-one -on -one discipling, and actually the possibilities are limitless. My daughter is a different spiritually because of your support. She has, she has Christ every day in school, in her life, and that is a blessing. We got married when Ariana, my oldest, was eight months old. She came into Hope as a student who did not care about her work. <laughs> Ariana would only do what was necessary to get by. I think her just relationships with the teachers, I think was a, a plus. She wasn't super driven. I think she sold herself short a lot of the times. She was really impacted by her relationships with her teachers. The thing that makes Hope Academy so incredible is the teachers. Mrs. Peterson was my mentor for three years while I was at Hope Academy and it was because of her that I realized that I am college material. Seeing her in 10th grade to senior year, she became a different person. I think the most important thing that Ariana has taken from her time at Hope Academy is the way it fed her spiritually. She helped me deepen my relationship with Christ and taught me to work hard. I'm very grateful. I graduated from Hope Academy last year where I attended for four years. Neither my husband nor I went to college. We knew that it was something we definitely wanted for our children. I am the first person in my family to go to college. I currently go to school in Grand Rapids, Michigan at Cornerstone University. We awarded the Hope Scholarship to uh, Ariana, another student, which uh, helps her throughout her four years of college. I received one scholarship and will be able to leave Cornerstone almost debt free. I mean, it's a blessing to me and my family. It's just really exciting to see that the work God started in her, he's continuing it on, carrying it to completion. My goal is to study audio production and my dream is to be a music producer in Europe 
and to also glorify Christ with my life and all that I do. She did not want to be at Hope and made it very clear to everyone that she did not want to be going to school that her sister was at. My hardest class would have to be calculus. I struggle in math. She did not want to come to Hope. She um, said, no, I'm not going to a private school. Hope Academy has taught me to take initiative and to hold myself responsible for my own actions. She also is a very driven young lady, um, especially academically in English, wants to do really well. She's wanting to work harder, get things accomplished. Hope Academy has taught me the importance of looking for what God has to say in our Bibles, Romans 8, 28. And we know that for those who love God, all things will work together for good for those who are called according to His purpose. I want people to see Christ through me so they can learn that this is what Jesus is like. Your support means everything to me, and if I didn't have any of your support, I would not be here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I continue to uh, support Hope Academy because I've seen the results it has produced with all the wonderful educated children that have become wonderful young adults.